Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with more World of Warcraft Classic and our hardcore Night Elf Druid. Hope everyone's doing well today. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and spending a few moments every day with me. We are over in Auberdyne, as you can see, we're going to make our way out into uh, Darkshore and we're going to work on our bear quest this morning. My hope is to get the bear, uh, bear form, and then uh, we will be able to go back and do Relics Awakening uh, over in... Uh, Keldrassil. So let's get started. Um, as you, if you remember at the end of last episode, I did pick up a lot of the quests here and we'll pick the rest of them up later. I'm just going to go straight for the bear form this morning and I want to get back and do Relics of Awakening if we can. So uh, yeah, let's do it. We also need to take this back to, uh, uh, so let's see, that's the, uh, the run down here. Which I don't know why you have to run all the way down here. It's almost like a level 20 area. And you get that quest at level, what, 9, 10? You get it at 11, so. Alright. Gotta kill some Moonkin here. Got all my potions on. My armor's up. Let's see. Let's refresh Mark of the Wild. Let's get Thorns going. Alright, now let's go. Here's the cave. I'll just let my man up pass the regen real quick. Take a drink of coffee while we wait. Rather than wasting a drink. Of course, you resist the moon bow, or the moon strike. Moon fire. I don't know why I was thinking it's called moon strike. I got that stuck in my head somehow. I think the reason is I saw a, uh, a night elf named moon strike one time, and it kind of stuck with me. And I'm like, oh, I want to create a character with a moon in the name. That would make a lot of sense for a night elf. Got a lesser healing potion. Nice. Can't use maces. At least not yeah, I don't I can't remember if they can use maces or not. Um we'll throw it over here. For now. See if we can speed this up a little bit. Full mana here, and we're just going to go all out on this guy. Here we go, guys. Fingers crossed. Just 
It's so stupid. I am outside. And we hit level 13. Perfect. You have... The slain spirit of Luna Claw stares at you intently, as though wanting something from you. You have fought well, spirit. I ask you to grant me the strength of your body and the strength of your heart. The spirit looks at you intently into your eyes and grasps your hand. You feel a warmth shoot through your body, almost knocking you down to your knees. As the warmth passes, you feel the slight presence of Ursine spirit within you, bolstering your resolve. Sweet. So that's done. Uh, let's see, does this go back to... And Darnassus. Okay, that's what I thought. I couldn't remember if we had to go back to um, the Moonglade or Darnassus. I thought it was Darnassus. And we hit level 13. Perfect. I want to put another. Do I put a point in improve nature's grasp? Yeah, I think I want to max that out. I actually kind of like that ability because that way, if for whatever reason in the future, if I get in trouble and they're attacking me, I can, it'll, they'll be nature's grasp. And I, they, they'll be grasped by the vines and I can run away. Hopefully that'll help in hardcore here. All right, back to Darnassus. Let's pick up our bear form and then we're going to go do Relics Awakening. The Hippogriff is a noble beast, proud and swift. They are an honor to train and can quickly take their rider a great distance. And we got some small eggs from those Alkins. That's perfect. We can make some more herbed crusted eggs. Or herbed baked eggs, whatever they are. Herbed baked eggs. Won't give us any skill ups, but that's okay. And then we can fish up some more mud snappers and we'll fit we'll get clams on the on the beach um, from the uh, from the crabs. I think they drop clams as well, if I'm not mistaken. Let's turn in our package here. The fish off the coast of Teldrassil are quite large and robust. Rumors say it is the speedy growth of our new world tree that is the cause. Okay, hey, that's done. The fish here are large, but I didn't think the difference in bounties between here and the mainland was so great. There must be a reason for this. Well, thank you, adventurer. I will discuss with the villagers the news you brought. Perhaps one day we will find the root of this oddity. But until then, we shall reap its benefits. I noticed in the last video, I'm going to stop here really quick. I noticed in the last video the uh, the sound quality was pretty low. So I'm going to turn up, uh, I'm going to turn up the dialogue just a little bit. And then I'm going to turn up just the sound overall, I think. There we go. I'll turn my my voice up a little bit. Yeah, I noticed my voice was very quiet in the last episode. You couldn't even hear me over the combat, and I apologize for that. Sorry about that, guys. 
Oh, I mean, the other thing I did not do, I did not turn my other light on over here, so let's do that. Well, it's not really a light, I just turn a bright screen on my top monitor, so that way you guys can see me a little better in this dark uh, basement. So I, re I record my basement, so... Welcome, my sister. If you are here to train, then I would be delighted to train you. There are rules. You have finally taken your large step into a much larger world, adventurer. I sense the teaching of the great bear spirit within you, and I sense that you have received the strength that Luna Claw possessed. There are no further obstacles in your way. Let me now teach you what it means to be an adventurer of the claw. An adventurer of the claw. You would think they would at least, you know, for the for the class quest, they would have them say their class. That's that seems strange. Anyways, all right. So we got bear form. Sweet. There's that. I'm gonna put it right. Um. I'll put it right here. Why is this one missing? There's dominoes. That's weird. I don't know why that one was missing. There we are. And we're a purple bear. Because of our hair. So the color of your bear, if you did not know this, is based on your hair color. So um, we're purple. You know, if you do white hair, you have a white bear. Um, and I actually did not know that until... I don't really need growl because we're not going to be... I'm going to be attacking everything. Um, I actually did not know that until I played uh, a druid, uh, started a druid in Classic uh, back, you know, just, just messing around uh, a little bit, and I had Welcome white hair. I'm like, hey, that's sister. cool. I have white fur if now. If you are here to train, then I would be delighted to train you. There are rumors of strife within the Scenarian Circle, but you should pay such loose talk no heed. Our arch druid, Fandral Staghelm, leads us and all of Teldrassil to glory. Ah, okay, so in classic vanilla, it's a, in rage generates 20 rage over 10 seconds, but reduces armor by 27% in bear form and 16% in dire bear form. Druid is considered in combat for the duration. Now, see, that's interesting because, uh, well, I said I said earlier that I created a, a druid in classic. I meant I created a druid in wrath classic. Uh, play him up to like level, I think he's level maybe like 15 or something. And I noticed in there the enrage does not reduce your armor. So they must have changed that in wrath. That must that's that's interesting. Because I was always complaining that it was the same when I was... Actually, I'm going to move that. What I didn't like about it is it was the same as a warrior's enrage. Or no, I'm sorry, it wasn't enrage. It's, was it fury? I can't even remember now. I, play, I even play a warrior. Um... Anyways, the warriors cost help. Their their enrage cost help, and the druids does not. I did not realize it, and I was like, "There's no drawback to it. So why why is it different?" Um, at least the druids doesn't cost health, but it does cost armor. So that's interesting. But if you have armor potions and we have um, Mark of the Wild, maybe that's why. Maybe they're trying to compensate for that. Anyways, all right. I want to move this down to. Oh, it's already on there. Never mind. There we go. I hate how it costs mana, too. Go ahead and get an armor potion up. Speaking of armor, because I did not do that earlier.
All right, guys. Now this is a this is a very hated quest for the night elves. I hate uh, this area because it's so difficult. Um, hopefully, at level thirteen, we'll be okay. And with bear form, hopefully, we'll be okay. Um, what I like to do, and what I did on my my uh, wrath druid, is I will attack with moonfire and probably um, I'll attack with moonfire to pull, and then I'll switch into bear form because. I don't have fairy fire yet. And fairy fire is a ranged attack that you get in bear form. Uh, I actually get in your, your different shape shifts. Uh, but I will not pull until I get that. I'll have to pull out of out of bear form. Unless I'm staying in bear form. Oh, gosh, this area sucks so bad. Damn shaman. Yeah, I learned it was beneficial to kind of switch back and forth. You use up some mana, but as long as your mana regen's okay, it's not too bad. Right, let's just see what I do in actual bear. Because I don't have any abilities in bear form right now, and that's that's what kind of sucks. Oh, I'm taking these guys down fairly quickly. I'll just stay in bear form. And it keeps my rage up as well. I'm going to move this down here because I want to get regrowth on my bar. At least I have to pop out of bear form. I can heal really quick. I want that there. there we go. I like I like regrowth. That's probably one of my favorite druid, druid spells. Because it does an insta-heal and a heal over time, which is really nice. Alright, I think we're going to be okay in here, guys. Now you see why you wait until you're at least level 12 or higher to come here because fighting these guys over and over you're just blowing through mana and my spells don't do enough damage to actually you know kill these guys i mean fast enough um, so this is much much better yeah we may be we may hit some gray enemies in here but that's okay i don't really care we're gonna get the quest done and that's all that matters At least the level 8s are giving us some experience. Usually there's some good chests in here too, if you can find them. And let me think, I think one of these is right here. I'm gonna have to pull this guy. Come on. Um, let's just go for it. I don't have swipe yet, which is, uh, my AoE attack with bear. And cat, you get that in both forms. Okay, this is going much better than I remember last time. Even on my wrath through it, I don't remember it being this easy. And I was level 13 on that one.
Oops. So it goes down to 510 with enrage on. I'll see what it does once I drop enrage here. I'll go 615. So it does drop quite a bit, actually. Ooh, that's, a, that's a lot. And my inventory is almost full. Crap, pull both of them. And I have to have room for all of these, uh, these runes also and stuff. The thing is, these guys are dropping money like that. It's also sometimes a rare down here in the bottom of this uh, barrel den. Hit him with them all before he uh, got the heal off. That didn't happen. Ooh, a chest. Sweet. I know there'd be one in here somewhere. I'm not in combat. There's a quest right here as well that we need to we need to knock out. And I got both of them. Okay, these guys are level nine. Nice, that was a nice crit. Pine shaman that inhabit this place have discovered a way of separating a sleeping druid spirit from the physical body. The Furbolg have animated my physical form and are using it to attack anyone that attempts to explore the Banathal Barrow Den. I am now trapped in the Emerald Moon, powerless to stop this. You must help me. The Narl Pine shaman carry a strange. Wow, I got it on the first one. Look at that. I'd like to examine. It. Please, adventurer, bring one to me. Usually that tank takes forever to drop, and I need it for this quest that he was just reading. Yeah, let's run back up and talk to him again. Thank you, adventurer. What an odd trinket this is. I can sense the vile aura emanating from it. This is a very powerful enchantment. After examining this charm, adventurer, I see now what must be done. Please take it and do as I ask. You are to explore the deepest areas of the Banathal Barrow Den. There you will find my soulless body. Although I regret what I am about to tell you, I see no other way to free myself from the control of the world. In order for 
For me to escape them, you must kill my physical form. Once that is done, use the beauty charm on my fallen body. After you have completed this task, please return. Oh, so one thing I did not mention is with Domino's uh, with the Domino's add-on, you see over here, these are my spells that I have in my main bar. Um, what it does is you can actually move your. Um... Oh, there's the rare. Nice. Um, you can actually move your druid bear form, cat form, uh, moon can form spells around here without actually affecting your main bar if you're not in bear form or in that in that shapeshift form. Um, but what I don't like is it does show all the time. So you can actually hide this bar to where it doesn't show. And I'll probably do that. I thought this guy was a rare, but it looks like he's not, actually. Well, I know that I dropped that, and now I have zero mana. I'll let it recharge while I'm in bear form. Oh, I missed one above me. That's okay. We'll, we'll swing back around and get it. We can go around the back side here and go up again. I know where it is. This is so hard at lower levels. Come on, Rage Claw. That's a nice crit. And he's almost dead already. Sweet. Perfect. We have to do this. Release his spirit. Dang it. Not what I wanted. I'm almost out of backspace. I'll drop the apples if I have to. They're only two copper. Or one copper each. Oh, shoot. There's three of them. Focus one down. There's one. See, right there, I would have died if I was casting. Because there's no way I'd be able to cast with three of them attacking me. Thank goodness for bear form. Wood chopper. All my potions still look good. I got seven minutes on this one, seven minutes on thorns.
hoping there'd be another chest in here somewhere. And we're out of inventory space. Let's go ahead and delete these apples because I know they're going to take up space we don't need. And same with this fish. I said I knew where this was. I thought it was over... Yeah, I know where it is. I know. It's on the top. It's on the top ring. We'll, we'll work our way back around there. It's like I'm just standing there. I wasn't even attacking him. <laughs> Even though I was, his health was going down. Some decent crits off, off of uh, Maul. I'm surprised. A potion. Ooh, that's better than what we have on. Put that on. Let's see. Put those on. Can't use anything else. Oh, the other thing we have not done is killed the um, Horbolg uh, named Ursa. I thought there was a quest to kill her, or Ursul, or whatever her name is. Um, but I can't remember. Where that was. I, I know where she is, but I don't know where the, I don't, can't remember where I picked the quest up from. I don't think it's after the escort quest. I don't think so. And we're almost out of rest of XP. Let's see. Let's get rid of... That's five silver. All right, I have to work my way back down now. Turn in this uh, other quest, the Druid of the Claw quest. Oh, nice crit. 98 on that crit. Let's see what this is. I love having this add-on that shows you how much it's worth. Get rid of the light feather. Some good money here. After we turn this quest in, I'll just park back to Dolinar. We've gotten like three silver in here. Nice.
That's water. I'm going to leave it. It's only one copper each. We lost a potion. Nice, another crit. Ooh, what's up? One leather gloves. Better than what I have on. Um, man. I dropped this vial. I can always buy more. Let's get rid of these eggs. And I'm gonna have to get rid of something else in order to pick this one. Yeah, finally so free this. of the control of the gnarled pine. Of course, I can't use Thank either one of them. Adventure. Go figure. My spirit may now rest. But I get two silver out of it, which is nice. In the emerald dream. Perhaps one day um, we may meet again. I'll just get rid of this swift thistle. But for now, please accept All this right, reward let's as back. a symbol of my gratitude. Sell everything. Get some good money out of this. Not being able to train demoralizing shout or demoralizing roar, excuse me. Yep, let's sell here. The loon be with you. Nice sell, 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 sell. Yeah, we get our first green item. I can't even use it. Go figure. I think that's it for now. Well, I, let's make some bandages really quick. I have to get to level 40 in order to do heavy bandage. Heavy linen. I can train that when we get back to Darnassus. Actually, there's a, there is a trainer here. I might be able to train it here. 19 silver. Finally got some good... See, I just gotta go out and grind money. Needs. That's... You have succeeded, just young adventurer. Well done. Back to the staff. In time, but I'll take it. Now the time has come to oh, save Ursa, the there it is. Of the Ursa, the Mauler. If we fail now, adventurer, they will be forever lost in sleep. I shall prepare the relics of wakening and perform the ritual. For my work to take effect, the cursed beast responsible for this horrible situation must be slain. Only then will the ritual be complete. It was Ursal the Mauler who meddled with our brethren's calling, and it is Ursal the Mauler who must now pay so they can be freed. Travel to Gnarlpine Hold in the southwest and slay him. Okay, I know exactly where that is. Alright, we're going to make these heavy linen bandages really quick. I'm not really using bandages, so it's just another way to sell the linen. Do something with the linen that provides more money than just linen. Well, provides more money than selling the linen outright, is what I meant to say. Sell this, sell this, bring this down here. You know what I should have done? I should have used this Timberling Heart, and I didn't Don't think about it. it. I'll use it in this next area, though. Or I can save it for Darnassus. I think it's only like level 10, though. That's okay. All right, Ursal's right here in this corner. Now, the other thing we could do is go do the uh, Escort quest, but I know that's still tough. Um, some of this stuff out of my inventory. Okay, let's go. 
Hurry up, thorns. Hurry up, that. Oh, we didn't hit up the Druid Trainer. I need to get I need to hit up the Druid Trainer really quick. Welcome, my sister. If you are here to train, then I would be delighted to train you. Well, let's say we get we Bash at 14, that's stun. Balance now and forever, as Malfurion lies we get Thorns at 14. Never forget this. How much money do we have? Oh, we have 26. It's right there. Uh, and we get Wrath, next Wrath at 14. Not that I'm using it that much anymore. Yeah, let's just save our money. Stars, I don't need Demoralizing Roar right now. We're doing okay with Maul. We have 20 minutes left. I'm glad I can, I can actually, uh, you know, pick up herbs in bear form. I think it's funny. It scratches the ground. In your shapeshift forms, you can, you can do that. Even travel form, you can do that. No, I've yet to see entangling roots. I've yet to see that that proc. Where if they hit me, they get hit by entangling roots. That has yet to proc, and it's like a I've got it up to a fifty percent chance now. Hmm. But I wonder if you have to be casting, because it does say casting, or it hits the caster, and I'm not casting in bear form. I wonder if that's even worth it. Spider. Let's go ahead and head on over to Ursula. Ursul. He wants to say Ursula, like, um, what uh, is it? Little Mermaid, I think it is, Ursula. Alright, these guys are a little harder than the last ones, so. Have to be careful in here. Should be okay, though. 
See, all my potions are up. 14 minutes left. Five minutes on that. We'll look for um, chests in here, too. And sometimes it's a rare walking around as well. Seen chests up there. Oh, there's the rare. He passed through this whole area, so we'll be able to grab him here in a second once he comes over here. Peace Bloom's great to us now. Drop something really nice for me to wear. Nice green item. Nope. Oh well. We tried. I mean, look at the concentration of these guys. This is just a tough area. take these one guys one at a time it's not too bad but if I get into a group of them which I'm going to here in a moment there's Ursul um, it becomes much harder the good thing is they don't run Ah, crap. Wrong button. It worked, though. I meant to cast thorns. Well, either way, it's going to pop me out. Let's drink. We got some swift thistle. I prefer that maze royal earlier. you dodge it. Now let's grab him here before he gets back over to his buddies. And he parried. Perfect.
There we go. There go the druids. We release them. I don't see any chests here, unfortunately. There's an earth root up there. Yeah, there's usually at least one or two chests here. That kind of sucks. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't know if I'll be able to do that escort quest or not. Maybe I'll wait. Once we hit 14, maybe we'll come back here and do that and knock that out. I think that sounds like a plan. We'll try it at 14. There's like a giant bear claw, like clawing at this tiny little delicate flower. Backspace, I think we're okay. I'll pick up these herbs while we're on our way back. Picked up a notch short sword of stamina off of one of those uh, spiders. Huh. Or the cat. You know, even at 14, I'm still kind of scared to do that escort quest because just because they, you know, they throw like ambushes at you and there's at least two or three guys that are always like coming out to attack you. And that just, it sucks. I mean, you can't do anything about it. Um, and sometimes there's even more than one, uh, one more than one ambush. And it's, it's just terrible. And almost every single escort quest is like that. There's only a few that don't have ambushes, but most of them are. And most of them are in hard areas to even start. Like the in this in this zone, it's all the harpies. And they're a pain in the ass.
Okay, we're out of danger now, so I'll go back into my night elf form. I prefer not to run around as a shapeshift. Oh, excuse me. Alright, let's sail here. Sail, sail. Good luck, friend. Elrond and Arwen. <laughs> adventurer, you have proven yourself a most worthy and able adventurer. A person who follows the path of honor as sure as you do is certain to find great glory in this world. May the forest spirits protect you wherever your travels may take you. All right, guys, we are right at an hour here, so we're going to call it an episode, and uh, it's been a good episode. We got our bear form, we completed Relics of Awakening, we killed Ursal, and we had a lot of combat. We're almost level 14, we deemed level 13. I think we're uh, we're in a good good position. Um, next episode, we're going to head to Darkshore and uh, begin questing there. Uh, but until then, guys, I hope everyone has a great day. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you next time.